the, there was no worship, there was no nothing, but we enter and we see. We see the angels here. Small angels, lots and lots of them. So no wonder we bump into miracles in this place. Because, yeah, you command them. You make a command and they are, uh, they attend, they come. Because they are more than willing to minister to humans. Till now, they are so um, amazed about, okay, um, they are uh, they're amazed about the humans. Yeah, because humans are the only uh, species who can enjoy salvation. Because you can't restore devil. Devil can't come and repent. Days over. Door shut. But then humans, angels can't do what we do. We are spirit being, but so to speak, we are human beings. Why are you a human being? You're a human being with a reason. What is the reason? What is the very great important reason why you are on this earth? You're a human being because only human beings can carry the glory or the presence of Yahweh inside of them. So, I am a glory carrier. You were, you are a glory carrier. You were an illumination before you became a human being. You were in the heart of the Father and sitting in the realms of fa the father, waiting to be dispatched to come to a parent. You are a light being. So you emanate. There is a shining all around you. You as a spirit can expand yourself all within you, all without you. And there is an aura, there is a glory, glow all around you. We do not realize it. But as you get into his presence, this morning I was reading some uh, scriptures in, from the Passion. It is like, you know, Lord, let me drink deeply from your presence. Is that presence a fluid, a liquid? Let me drink deeply from your presence. So that is how, you know, car has to go to the, uh, 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 the gas station to have the gas filled, otherwise the car is not going to run. The same way, we, as a carrier, we go to the gas station, the glory station, Amen. and then drink deeply, yeah, through the hose. Because, you know, when we are in a hurry, we will be going, pastor will take a route and go, where are you going, where are you going? You know, petrol. <laughs> so you, you are in a hurry, go, but then why now? <laughs> because, yeah, the tank is empty, going to be empty. And so, this is the truth. So you, you're not coming to the worship, the gathering, to drink. You have already drunk, and you come here to supply. The churchgoers never understand this. They think once in a week we go to take <laughs> you know you go and take it's wrong 
If somebody at the leadership says, come, you all come get it, that means wrong. You all go get it. That is right. And then you come and share. So that means if you got filled and you come here, when you come here, the first song, the first sentence will click. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Or you will linger for a longer time, the last song, the last sentence will click. Because it took you so much of time to get plugged in, get connected with the source. Got it? How, the interest, how it is interesting to be in the worship, how God, you will expect God to speak to you during the worship is already you are drunk. And you come here to be a drunkard. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So it is becoming a pattern these days, let me tell you. The river is open. The, the, the lake is overflowing. Do not mind about any gutter water that's coming towards you. Because gutter is going to be always there. So go get your supply and get your tank filled so that you will overpower anything that's coming around you. This is the, this is the pattern. This is the pattern. And so you will be overpowered completely. So you will go unarmed, un unharmed. Nothing can damage you because already you are full of the river, the presence. So make it a point, you know, do whatever you can do, you know, go like into it, whatever it takes. And uh, if it is the word of God that's giving you the glory, do it. If it is the worship, that easily you can be connected to, do it. You want to speak in tongues, that's the number one priority. Keep speaking in tongues. You want to engage the living letters, which is so very, very, very powerful. You learn the art of uh, 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 them uh, arcing over you. That's too much a deal. And whatever it takes, go. Do it. Or you want to be in one place calmly, quietly, in his presence, waiting. Do it. Yeah? Do something to get connected so that, yeah, you will be so blessed. Okay. I just want to start from a few things that we have already done, but uh, we did not complete. And so I go a little earlier. Today is 25th of August, but then I just want to go a little earlier to, uh, to um, uh, remind you of whatever you are learning, uh, and that is going to help you so much. So, we were talking about how in Jesus' days, how Jesus had to speak in parables because some could understand him, but many could not understand him. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, even uh, I think there is a hum in my microphone. 1 Corinthians 2, 14, 16, it says, But the natural, non-spiritual man does not accept or welcome or admit into his heart the gifts and teachings and revelations of the Spirit of God. Um, it is second Cor uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 14 to 16. That's why you people have to have your Bible in any form. You know, when the, when the page is not felt, then you will not uh, follow. Natural, non-spiritual man. Come on. Very clear. Natural, non-spiritual man. So natural, non-spiritual man is one side. Supernatural, you know, and non-natural yeah, spiritual man is one side. Yeah, this is how that community is divided in Christian world. Does not accept and or welcome or admit into his heart the gifts, the teachings, the revelations. 
So if there are revelations that are falling from above, and you will be able to just to absorb them and take them within and uh, meditate on them and then, you know, uh, multiply on them, if your heart is so very ready with revelations. So that is up to, up to each person, up to you. Revelations uh, 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 comes and falls on a person who is already spiritual. Amen. Yeah? And for they are fully meaningless to uh, the people who are non-spiritual and natural. I am not natural. In any ways and every ways, I don't like to be natural. I don't like to be uh, running a normal life. For me, everything has to be, you know, super normal. In any form, in any ways, in my life, in anything. Okay? Everything, every walk of life, every way I do, including my kitchen stuff. It should be not natural, normal. It should be what? Super normal. It should be above the limit. You'll have to be the hitting the mark all the time. You should be a, 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 a excelling in everything. Am I right to word using? You, you should excel in everything. You are, you can, okay? And so it says that uh, um, they do not understand because it says incapable of following them. Okay, those who are watching me, you know, you, they will be getting a very clear understanding of what we stand for, yeah? So we are not the basic uh, teachers. We want to teach the heavy stuff because we kill lions and we kill, I'm sorry, we kill elephants to feed the strong eagles here. Because the eagles need heavy duty meat, isn't it? So meat is available here. So incapable of knowing them because they are spiritually discerned and estimated and appreciated. So any teaching, any revelation that comes upon you, you have a clear understanding because you have a discerning. Already your heart is like a light, you know? You know what is what and you understand. So spiritual man tries, to, tries all things. So I, am I a spiritual man? Ask this question. If you are a spiritual man, you will not be in the basics. If you are a spiritual man, you want to go and excavate more. You want to deep, dig, dig deep more. You know, you want to find out more. You want to learn more. You want to try to understand. Tries all things. That means he will examine, investigate, inquire into, question, discern. So that means those who are questioning, you know, a group of people, they're up there, you know, uh, 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 they will be, uh, I mean, the Hebrew people, they uh, are people who will not have a common, normal conversation. For them, everything looks like an argument. That's the way they are. Why? Because they have uh, stuff within them that they will, uh, 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 like, um, argue or discuss. So if you have some stuff within you, you will start to discuss and to absorb and question and uh, argue or uh, receive a response and you will not be satisfied with a just superfluous something. You want more, isn't it? So you will discern and you want to know, you want to learn, you want to have an insight into everything. How many of us are in that way? If you're not in that way, you will get so bored with what we teach. You better shift to, into this realm grow your hunger, go to the uh, uh, source and drink more. And in Matthew, we saw already, you know, he has been, he, Jesus was telling, it has been given to know the secrets and mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. So that means everywhere it is not given. Into some place it is given into some people it is given. It's about your, the way that you have developed yourself into it. To some it is given, some it is not given. 
it's not given at all and so you there's no comparison it's, there's no pride involved in it but then we are so happy to say that we are behind mysteries and secrets oh, yes. because something else is already been given foundation is laid for us to have more questions more inquiries and more longing more wanting and wanting to see the fullness you know the things which has to be fulfilled that i need to be fulfilled in the way that you know things are conducted in my life other things are immaterial you know if you get a headache you put a pen and all it goes that's how it is that the main thing is this is the main life already so whoever has spiritual knowledge to him will more be given so let us be a place a a a a a a platform where more will be given from above from the father's heart i want this place yeah i want me to be a place a podium a place a platform for god to release his revelations and that revelations will come and land and settle yeah so nothing missing nothing broken god's heart will be so glad to say there is one uh, small little country in the middle east there is a small little people over there insignificant people and they are longing behind me they are running after me and i have been so faithful to them releasing the revelation step by step according to their capacity of receiving so the better that we hurry up and then keep our you know our 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 uh, place ready he is going to add more and more you know we talk about how to live in incorruption we are bold enough to say there is a place called immortality for example i am telling that is the ultimatum there is no enemy called uh, anything in your life only adversary and enemy that you need to deal with as jesus said was the death death is your final enemy and so that means you motivate your life to go to that place called immortality and so that is your highest goal because the bible says that that's a maximum yeah and so i'm just giving you the example here so to go over there it doesn't happen all of a sudden in one day you go through many stages and then you win in this and then you win in this and then you win in this and again you win in it and more revelations come you grab it again you put it into practice and things like that and so we are longing for those things which are called a taboo those things which are getting a limitation in this world we are longing for that kind of a rare stuff i am not here you know wasting my time on energy just to feed some milk there okay come on drink some milk and survive no we are here to eat meat and to thrive we are not here just bear uh, survivors you know survivors elsewhere there are happy places you know survivors but here it's not survivors it is people who will thrive into the depth of the heart of god so things about the earth things about the land things about the circumstances things about anything in this world relating to this world is immaterial mm. because we have been trained to go for bread butter jam why are you so spiritual because you know my children should be hey that's not the reason at all why are you so spiritual these days because i want to get a promotion so there and some matter you get a promotion and let's live there no 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 i want to go more deeper and higher and stronger to see the ultimatum oh, yes. Oh, yes. to be fulfilled in him oh yes oh yes oh yes there is a life that is fully satisfying the father a life which will always think about god what type of a corruption is in my heart god who will tell me my corruption my own corruption 
God, I want to live in the place of incorruption. I just want to settle everything that is really there in me. Oh God, the things that are come into me from my forefathers, the nature, the habits, the, the behavior, or the attitudes, or the anything at all that is, you know, discriminating me from enrolling myself into the kingdom purposes, whatsoever it is, I just want to come out of it. The corruption has to be overwhelmed by the incorruption. And so these are all just mere basics that we talk to go to a higher level. So what ex exactly we want to know, there is a place that we can have, like Job was telling in chapter 29, you know, chapter 29, uh, um, 1 to 4. Job, you know, all of us know Job who was going through a lot of uh, perils, like in his life. Job again took up his discussion because his friends were sitting and arguing with him, saying, you are the number one sinner in the whole world. Shut up, man. You did so many bad things, so you ended up in this. See, this is how the world will speak. But what he said, he was not giving up. He said, Job again took up his discussion and said, oh, that I were as in the months of old, as in the days when God watched over me. So he is replaying from the memory of how his life used to be. When his lamp shone above, in his lamp shone above and end upon the head, my head, and by his light I walked through darkness. That means it's not just spelling like the name called light. It was a real light. It was the real light of Yahweh. When as I was in the prime, prime ripeness of my days, when I was young, when the friendship, look at that, and counsel of God were over my tent. So in another translation you may read, you know, there was the counsel of God over the, the Lamb of God or the counsel of God over my tabernacle. So that means he was totally, his tent, that means his home, his house of stay, the place of his dwelling was covered by God. Come on, are you, are you there with me? You know, he, it was covered. And he, in that perilous uh, time, he is reminding himself of those time of his youth. I mean, it's all through his life, maybe. Yeah? Job was from the first creation period. And so he was actually looking back to say, there was the light that was shining over my life. There was no darkness that was under me. I was straight away listening to the counsel of Yahweh right away because it was always landing on my tabernacle. Come on, somebody receive it right now. I need my that type of a leading. I need that kind of a counsel which must be within me burning because I am the bait of God. I am the dwelling place of Yahweh, Yeshua. I am the house of the Holy Spirit, the home that is given to them to live. So I'm so conscious of their dwelling, of their living within me. So I need to be so conscious that I do not hurt them anytime. And so immediately I want to go back and to say, oh God, Holy Spirit, you're so holy. And I want to settle my account. You understand? So that type of a longing, it's not sin uh, conscious all the time. No, it's God conscious. And he's there, the tabernacle was there. Wow, I wish that I wish that I wish that I wish, you know? So Job was telling, I wish those days come back to me again because God could speak to me and I was under that uh, light. Come on, everybody pull it towards your tabernacle, pull it towards your home, pull it towards your family. You know, that type of a guidance must be given to our generation. We need to be living in that type of a connection. So get connected with Yahweh and his realm today now. Get connected somehow. Uh, you are getting connected even now. 
your heart is longing for it if you're thinking about something regarding the world i mean useless because there's no end but in this you grow you start to think you will grow you start to think more will be added because if you are faithful in little things more will be added to you Amen. the bible says so let's be little let be faithful in whatever we learn okay we know hallelujah and so all this we saw already we uh, we were going towards it and then all this were uh, uh, making our life so very easy you know for god to uh, come down and live among us amen and so today let's go more uh, more uh, uh, more i mean deeper okay um there are things like in this world like um, spiritual verses temporal yeah spiritual verses temporal i will tell the uh, topic a little later because you already know ephesians chapter 4 23 24 ephesians chapter 4 23 24 and be continually renewed in the spirit of your mind in the spirit of your mind what is this mind is in the soul the mind has the spirit too yeah so spirit of your mind that refined renewed mind which is in operation in your i'm sorry the the the, spirit, the renewed uh, spirit which is in operation in your mind that means having a fresh untarnished mental listen please whether you know better english or not please learn having a fresh and untarnished mental and spiritual everybody look at it it's very simple to learn mental and spiritual attitude so the attitude all of us know what is attitude isn't it we will say somebody in the workplace or in the school or the college when oh she has an attitude you know he has an attitude we say right but look at this what they are telling if you have an attitude of this kind what is the kind fresh untainted yeah untarnished mental attitude yeah and spiritual attitude that's all mental attitude spiritual attitude that means you look at anything in that way you don't look and analyze anything in the world way in the doctor's way in the medicine way you don't accept it you accept it in god's way the doctors the medicines yeah the office people put on the new self created in god's image in the righteousness okay so just look at it do you need to go to a, a seminary or to a college in usa maybe oral roberts college is it written all that that means you will have a graduate a certificate and so you will be fit enough is it written over that no it is written over there you put on a new self you put on so if i don't try putting on a new self each and every day i will be stale there is no freshness there so he says regenerated renewed nature so cre- created in god's image so you are god come on get a shock those who are watching you are god the bible says you are god like what like god you are in his image you open your mouth the sound the voice is like a thunder you have the power inside exactly like the creator you speak and it shall be so when you say 
hey rumbling send some rain it will obey why because you have a voice you are in the image of god so high maintenance come on open up your mouth and say what is that high maintenance why because somebody else big up there their name is mentioned over here <laughs> god's image ai ai so standard is so high when we look at people we will say mm standard be anything you know we want to appreciate or we want to be in that way i don't know about you i like such things it must be what standard nature standard behavior standard giving standard yeah taking up responsibility standard doing your job here in the church or outside in the world. standard every day you go to uh, uh, the office you know clean standard yeah and women they clothe themselves well there is a standard which is being going away everywhere in the world but there is a standard we maintain right if you ask rajesh his dosa batter has a standard his chapati which is going every day inside pastor ramesh's stomach has a standard otherwise you wouldn't go to get it right so he will close his eyes and go get for the onkas that bhai oh it's over chapati that will never he miss because that is food breakfast or lunch so stand it you look for what stand it in your clothing in your dressing in the way you talk the way you keep and everything what stand it so here we make a word stand it why high maintenance high maintenance come on say hallelujah you know what how much yahweh will be happy at this moment yeah because it's not high maintenance not mentioned in the bible right and so we use it such words it's a high maintenance sir high, how righteousness and holiness of the truth living in a way that expresses to god your gratitude for your salvation see it is not because you will answer my prayers i love it it's not because he will you know promote me somewhere that is beggary it is this why i have to keep up my standard just because i am so grateful he goes and he says for the salvation that means salvation is that rich yeah that's so holy hand picked one in the family yeah Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. And so you are not some nonsense, you know, some mother gave birth and you are sitting here. No, 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 no. You are honored, honorable because God wants to look like you and he, you want to look like him. Because, yeah, that's the thing. And have you heard of this? You know, your own angel, my own angel, he will look exactly like me. Hey, anybody sees uh, any other angel here? Yes. Blue color blouse? <laughs> That means the replica of you. They follow you so much. That's, that's how uh, Yahweh says, I and you, who in the whole world will say, you be exactly like me? Who will tell? He says, you be exactly like me? I mean, he being God? Shakal me kata ka sekeya Le bharha shal ke maha zeke ma kutura Overseas you call Overseas you make a phone You talk to a sick person And the sick person gets revived the next day morning And that too, hope, all the hope are given up That is your God. Amen. You represent Him. 
and you can imagine if you are enjoying this small little miracles how much he will be expecting out of you hey i sent jesus already yeah he poured all his blood and you know they killed him no problem you are there representing you're all jesus's but for the cross you're all what jesus's go one jesus okay he came back to me but i have millions and billions and trillions and zillions of jesus in this world are you one i want to be one yeah because jesus walked on water jesus trans relocated he was talking to people and he was gone he was in one place and another minute he was in another place he could who could he could walk through the wall i want to be like jesus days are coming it's going to be simple yeah already it's happening elsewhere philippines 212 so then my dear ones just as you have always obeyed so he's telling about the you know how you listen to god and then uh, 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 how you follow god and etc in chapter 2 paul is talking and he's telling because paul could be there somewhere in the prison and paul could be there in a meeting the council meeting going on he was in many places like yeah and then philip was in one place the next minute the spirit of god took him away and he was gone and so he was found somewhere else preaching and so what are we talking today like spiritual versus temporal spiritual supersedes the temporal you don't have to be subject that which is physical around you come on catch all of this and put it into practice in any field as you like you don't have to be subject to something which is physical around you you don't have to be subject to something that is physical around you did you, did you get it then how should i do you must teach that something which is around you that that something to be subjected to you did you get it you will command the problem to be subjected to you you will not be subjected to that the problem or whatever that is you are not subject to it it is under you so teach it hey listen you know who i am i'm a spiritual being i'm a spirit i'm not a, just a human being i carry i'm a carrier of god's glory and presence and i attend to his presence attend to his presence the way you uh, how it comes the boldness and the stuff that comes in see into you go to the petrol station get your car filled yeah if you don't go to the gas gas station your car is not going to be you know automatically filled because god will take care of it god is not going to take care of it your car will be gurang 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 on the main road and police will come and say hey your tank is empty and so filling the tank belongs to you so that you can't say what god will take care of you filling the tank there are miracles that can happen if you believe in that form it will happen if you believe that's a cylinder which is there in your uh, house as you started some nice food and it is you know the yellow color is coming and ay 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 the yellow color is coming now it's going to die ay multiply wait till i finish the work don't stop that you can do but what i have to do i have to do i have to call the harass or somebody and tell him hey i want a cylinder 
Okay. So the, the how the way you engage the person self, Yahweh. Come on. So take time, write it in your notebook somewhere. You know, engage the presence of Yahweh. That means what? The door has been opened. The veil was torn. Jesus said it is finished. So the door is open. The veil was torn. So I have every right to step into the realms of Yahweh. So this will be your prayer the minute you open your eyes. You will surrender your life as a living sacrifice immediately. So you, you are deciding and you are commanding the, uh, the, day, uh, the break or the dawn or the angel of the morning. You are telling, hey, everything that's written in my scroll for today will be fulfilled. See, these are all the, you know, uh, everyday thing that you will be doing. You are not negligent. You are not once in a week uh, uh, church goers. You have church always at home. And so what? You have to uh, uh, bring the world. Okay, listen please. You have to bring the world of Yahweh, the realms of Yahweh into this physical world. Yeah? Because you ascend and you attend. Come on, somebody please get it. You ascend and you attend the realms of Yahweh. Where no fall can alarm you. Under the shadow of his wings. Into his house. At his presence. Shalkil hizimya katur shalkia. There is a place there where the secrets are stored. What is the secret that you have to re release on me at this moment? Who are you in my life at this moment, Father? What are you at this moment? And so he will, he will be, you are connecting with him. So there is a seen world, a physical world. There is a world where the bacteria live, the viruses live, diseases live, the race of the sun falls and the race of the sun makes you grow older and kills you. There is another place into the realm where you are given a freedom to go yeah, and where the, there is no corruption, there is no mortality and there is no uh, demonic attacks. So you are surrounded with that kind of an aura because like how uh, 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 a honeybee goes from flower to the flower to the flower to the flower. Connecting, okay, connecting the, uh, 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 the honey and then pollen and it falls into the flower. So when it comes out over that shiny something, whatever, the pollen is sitting. Is that right? And then the honey is in its mouth. Yeah? And then collects it. Come to the house and drops it. Again goes back again. You know what? We must be known by everything what we are. Our address. We had been there. We fell into that flower. We fell into the river of life. We met with the uh, uh, fragrance of Yahweh. And we come around and walk around with that pollen on you, the fragrance on you, Yahweh on you, Yeshua on you. So you go to a place, you know, where it is so gloom and doom, some hospitals. Whether people are living people, they will look at you, they will kill you. That kind of a doom is there. But you go like what? Mm. Yeah, this is nothing. Because you are filled with him. This body is just body. But your spirit is more stronger than the body. The real stuff is the spirit. 
and you just rule you make those things which are making you subject as subject to you you control the situation you command the things to you don't have to say i command in jesus name by your very presence will bring you know just a radiation of light all over the place you are total different deal you are not normal you know things which are normally done for others in this world is not your life you are too very different money a thing came i don't know because jesus was not a poor but then just for the sake of uh, the, uh, 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 making enabling peter to learn something i just don't know but he said okay we don't have we didn't pay tax uh, boss okay don't worry go and then find a fish if you go you will find a fish and then what you open the mouth of the fish you will get the money go pay for you and me this is jesus he's always comrade you know not selfish you know say not selfish come on comrade all the time okay pay for you pay for me i like such people my goodness god you could look at this jesus fella you know he's telling uh, pay for you pay for me okay so then you know like what this is not normal right it's not normal he could say go ask judas <laughs> he is the treasure he said no 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 today for a change we will go to the sea and then all the thousands and the thousands of the fishes were opening their mouth where the silver coin will come and fall but it fell into only one fish not 100 will say if the fish had the silver coin and then the one fish only came in the hook and then he opens come on so that is becoming normal for you and i say some loud hallelujah at least because we have to go so that means those things which are uh, controlling me uh, uh, becomes a subject to me i will not allow that which is trying to control uh, 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 to make me a subject no your amen is not enough <laughs> okay so that means what they say this it's called quantum entanglement so you get connected you don't live here you live up there your heart and your soul doing the impossible if the magicians can go through the wall if the magicians you know those days when our kids were very little they had program uh, in the kuwait tv like ma magicians program to very peculiar very good looking young fellows and old fellows will be doing i forgot the names completely but all of it will be born which you may remember you know the, those guys you know walk through wall and go, go, hand goes through the glass and etc we are supposed to be doing all of those okay come on let's eat vada come on man see now what we quantum entanglement that means we, we are waiting to do something which is supernatural so how it will be done it's all here if we start to renew our mind we will start to expect miracles there are miracles that are really mind blowing like a woman whose uh, uterus was removed Uh, 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 getting conceived and bringing up baby how on earth if 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 you know if god can do anything right god can do anything so it's all depending on the way that we change our mind to believe come on man i am teaching myself i don't know so um you are a spirit being and you live into him when you start to live into him as a spirit being and you are not living here you are going there to get that pollen i mean just for the sake of saying i'm telling you are going to get that glory on you the shining on you and the presence on you the peace on you 
You become a person of peace in the world of chaos. You become a person of, you know, real wise and intelligent and smart in the world, in the place of your work, you know, clever or intelligent because you attended there, up there. So that means he will teach you the way you need to run your life. Basics, okay. And so, you go up there and to get it and come down and manifest it. You are somebody very special. Yeah? You race or, you know, color or the uh, 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 position, position doesn't uh, make any value in your, you, because you attend the presence of Yahweh, you are different. So you come down and manifest it because you up, go up to come down. You go up and come down. So there is a living letter called Gimel. Gimel, that means representing camel. You know, that is, that which holds, you know, a camel hump, which holds, you know, gallons and gallons of water in the desert land when they uh, uh, live here in the desert land. So they, they, they have the provision in plenty. Yeah? There's some, something like that, the, the, the gimel, you know, is some uh, uh, being that can go up and come down, go up and come down, make gimel your friend. Okay. And so you ascend in order to descend. You attend his presence. It will never come by going to a church or laying hands. It will come because you cook your food in your own kitchen. So, uh, so what happens? I'm connected to the supernatural in the unseen world by faith. Come on. By faith. Okay. So you are not doing it just because somebody will say, my God, my God, in that group, in that church or in that gathering, uh, lots of miracles happening. Lots of, you know, that person is full of, no, 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 no. You do it all by yourself, all alone, you know, for the audience of one. You just keep doing it quietly so that, you know, you, it will get into your system and you will carry it all the time. Where you need to start? You need to start in your mind. You need to start in your imagination. Look at you healthy. Look at you young. Look at you rich. Mm. Swallow it. Look, look at you, you know, uh, uh, full of ability. Look at you strong. Look at you, you know, totally uh, 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 God-loving. Look at you. Imagine that. Let your imagination be that. Look at you as a creator. Look at you. Aim for such things. You know, Peter walked and his shadows, shadow healed sick people. Because he knew if you read chapter 2, he was so firm. Okay, where is that scripture I need to, yeah. In Acts of the Apostle, it is the third chapter because miracle took place, right? Miracles took place in Acts of the Apostle 3. And then the lame man was walking, jumping, hopping, everything. So people around everywhere, they gathered around to look at them. And immediately Peter said, why are you looking at us? If you start to attend the presence of God, all your pride is gone. You will always give glory to God, Yahweh. And so, you know, in, it is in chapter 3, verse 16, you know, he's, everybody coming running. Okay, he says, in, and his name, through his name, through Yeshua, standing in him, living through him, this miracle happened. Look beyond looking. Living through him. Living in him. Entwined to him. The spirit was saturated with him. And the soul area 
all the things the mind conscious mind unconscious subconscious conscience you know ego purpose and everything in you is saturated with him and then your physical body also turning to be different because you know it is about him so in him and through him look at this in the, that way it's not in the name of jesus you get up and walk no 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 they said look at us what did they say look at me look at us so that means i am living in him look at me i am living through him look at me i am surrounded by him look at me that means in christ so that means if you have the thinking and the consciousness you will be drunk all the time your body will ultimately receive it you got it and so he is telling hey through and by faith in his name so that means this is the english translation we get what i would guess is you know by faith i stepped into him name and him were odd same because yeshua the resurrected one the powerful one the great i am the one and only the creator god in him i stand and i live and i move peter is saying so through him this miracle took, took place but through me the miracle took place because he and me are one by faith even now he is enveloping you he is surrounding you so you know even in the psalm 139 you know he has kept his hand upon me and it is so heavy and he it is like crushing me so that means weighty glory presence will be felt by you as you think and imagine yeah there is nobody who can be uh, softened by god spirit soul and body yeah because only the way that you are going to think and imagine you as a carrier of god's glory will make all the changes and difference you know wherever you go people will count you as a vip whereas you are not in the basic in the world sense people will look at you as if somebody they know already they try to stand and look at you and smile hey it will ha not happen in your country in another country it will happen so that's more surprising isn't it so that means something is there upon you because you are living in him you are living through him i mean constantly you know really really consistently having the feeling that means every day you know of in your life you step into him the conscious of i live and move and have my being in him becomes just real totally yours you step into him as you are in the office you walk but you step into him and see the miracle go and see the miracle you step into him in everything you step into him you step into him and the people who were against you will run away from you not giving you any trouble because you become somebody else so imagination your dreaming part you know the way that you breathe you live to breathe you live to breathe you breathe from above you breathe from the realms of yahweh and breathe around you and you breathe through your spirit and expand your spirit and let the spirit to be expanded outside of you and you carry all that you really mean it yeah and so 
how we will get all of this knowledge relieves rela- releases belief so knowledge has to be there knowledge has to come inside it will not come from any books or stories it comes from here and so you will know from that all things are possible and then you your confession sort of you're walking you're going you're in the airport you're on the plane you are in some new place or you are going for an interview or you are meeting some boss or whatever that is in your heart of hearts you say i'm seated in christ jesus i'm seated in heavenly places in him and in him and in him i'm seated yeah and so this is how you carry like you this is how you embrace god's holy presence and then you carry it in your body and at times you will speak to your body a hey body jesus is living inside okay and i know other things cannot live in me so you just know problem you make a stand you just say it you tell your brain brain take care of that pain which is poke pain in the feet the next second the pain will be not be there because of your position come on you have a position you keep on keeping on but the worldly people new age people or whoever they are they use it because they use it they use it through the mind power and it works so enemy has produced a way that they can see the you know result through their mind power yeah if anybody sees anything like that never never get involved in it it's more similar to this and then you walk uh, talk to a stranger i had that experience and the stranger says um, without any you know you know some people will really get attracted to you isn't it and then they want to help you right sometimes and then you are wondering you are surprised and the stranger says same vibes ma'am huh same vibes it seems same energy we are hmm? which energy <laughs> because they understand you are different but they operate it they are learning it but it's mind power you are never equal you are never equal you are operating with the spirit power and connected to the true and living god yeah so what jesus said i am in my father isn't it yeah where is my scriptures i am in my father isn't it mm. so jesus had a different type of an imagination in the beginning beginning i mean he was very humble right in the beginning beginning andrew is bringing who nicodemus or something and nicodemus is coming and then jesus is telling him hey nicodemus you are guileless you are clean you are pure um i saw you when you were under the fig tree who said jesus said so i'm just going to give something what i'm just thinking right now so i didn't learn or i don't know which is uh, right even i'm just telling he is telling nicodemus you are full of the law fig tree is talks about it i knew it when you were under the fig tree and nicodemus is near i guess this way you are no longer under the fig tree you are near the vine i saw you when you were standing under the fig tree this is the holy imagination isn't it and nicodemus says 
And the kingdom has come to him, isn't it? He came to learn from him. And so that means what? Jesus had everything in his mind. His mind was completely controlled by the spirit. Yeah? So that means what today, what, what should I do? I face several difficult situations. What God wants to say, change your imagination, that will change your life. So there was um, people, um, uh, there was, uh, you know, like uh, movie songs and movie, when we were very young, little, in our place. And so one guy who was a very popular guy who became a prime minister, chief minister or something like that, and his wife also became. And that guy who used to have songs, you know, like he used to say this, I can see about the country or something like that. I don't know about him. I don't know the movie. But we used to hear, no, because big loudspeakers in our whole place. So without paying any money, you learn all the cinema song. And then, you know, so he will sing like this. Like what? I can see the bright a light filled, I'm translating, light filled future with my eyes. When he was, yeah, he was, a, yeah, positive, he became chief minister later on. Because our place, you know, people make cinema uh, people heroes, you know. So the, because he is jumping from the one mountain to the other in the cinema, they think chief minister also will jump from one. To, and so they will, they will uh, bring the uh, cinema people into the, uh, 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 into the cabinet. Whereas they can't even fluently talk in Tamil. And so, uh, you might change your imagination. So, I can see a very bright future. In Tamil, Uli Maya Mana Yedir Kalam in Kanna Munala Teri Correct? <laughs> I remember childhood, school going time. So, that means what? Bright, bright future is just right in front of me. So come on, everybody say that today. <laughs> change your imagination, change your life. Come on, no money, no fullness. Say that. So I can see the, what? My future, bright, shining, marvelous. Come on, imagine your future house, future, future, everything future. You know, anything, then everything, future. It's so bright and beautiful. Amen. How much more we children of the spirit, children of God, can say, change your imagination. Imagine you as very strong and healthy. Imagine you living longer. Imagine this sickness is subject to me. I am not subject to you. Yeah? And so then, then when you go, come on, let's come to the first scripture. So continually re renewed in the spirit of your mind. So did we read that? Okay, Philippines 2, what did we read that? Um, uh, my beloved one's passion, just like you've always listened to everything I've taught you in the past, that means you are following the instructions. Okay, so what we should do even today to begin with Romans 12. He says, do not be conformed to this world. Conformed to this world. That means, do not be conformed to the impossibilities. Come on, let loudly say that. I do not have to be conformed to the impossibility. Because I have to live a life without limitation. Yahweh lived outside, lives outside the limitation. For Yahweh, nothing is a limitation. There is no limitation for God. So limitation is the captivity of creation. So this world has limitation. You can't, you won't, you will not. But then what? We've, kept, we've been kept captive to it. If you go in the humility, you will get catch a cold. What? Captive? I go in the humility, in the rain, in the sun, I will not catch a cold. That is what? You're living outside the captivity. 
so the economy is going from here to here to here to here more bankruptcy in this company this company this company ultimately bankruptcy no because i am there my company will not have bankruptcy imagination so all the rest of the people the especially the women folk in the workplace they will chat yeah 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 and yeah 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 and throw you know some junk in your piece you will say no i don't think so say amen. amen and so no captivity say no more captivity it's not demonic or demon possessed we ourselves in our mind we bring lots of captivity within us because fear is a captivity fear is a captivity you know i am going to go but uh, but uh, you know but is a captivity you know but is a captivity and so you know i'm going, so this can be that that can be this you know some wild people you want to run away are you like me you know if they are naysayers and they bring anything negative i want to really you know jump on them and to tear them why because i don't like because you, with your uh, exposure and with your uh, 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 manifestation you are bringing the stuff down not in my atmosphere please yes. come on say not in my atmosphere please not in my house please you know somebody calling you know your husband or your wife and they are so loudly shouting in the phone you say no why their voice huh in my house my walls will hear today <laughs> i'm going to cleanse my house why somebody you know they shouting and talking and discussing things i don't want this conversation in my house mm, no you understand na so that we become that way we become very uh, conscious of it do not be conformed to this world so run away from that be transformed and progressively changed so this is the point here progressively changed somebody need to say my god my good god comparing to last year you've grown a lot man somebody has to say when you start opening your mouth to pray somebody has to observe you and say jesus jesus from where to where see look at the language man look at the way they pray my god something gotten into them jesus thing you know that is how it should be growing and showing so no captivity at all romans 8:6 says this romans 8:6 jesus for speech romans 8:6 now the mind of the flesh is death you got it and so mind of the flesh is death it is mentioned over there so any time and every time oh it will be like this and you, you know my whole body is paining you want to say it yeah? you know always i feel so weak do you want to say that you are endorsing it right no i don't know maybe you like it i don't like it so i am telling for me i don't like it yeah no i'm not a mention of this pain that pain or what if you say it will go no because you gave attention to it isn't it it will it will uh, multiply because it's waiting when you will give attention the ne negative you will give attention to the negative you will give attention and don't give attention to the negative don't guess okay and so okay the mind of the flesh is death because it pursues sin but the mind of the spirit is life and peace so this is how we are going to change so you when you go home you will take such scriptures and you will look into it that's why we say take down take down because you will look into it and you want to make a progression you want to learn and you want to put it into practice this week you want to put it in practice so then he says galatians chapter 3:10 how, how you uh, you have to put on what new spiritual self and then continually be renewed so you know don't have to push you like don't expect that somebody has to push you you know when the car is stopped you know we ask people help then we want them to come and push the car 
How many husbands want the wife to push the car? That means you. How many wives want the husband always to look after me, look after me, look after me, look after me? Hey, don't expect somebody to push the car. You push your car. And continually renewed. So that means continual work it is. You become a new creation. Your life is changed. So that means you're not looking at the physical. You're looking at beyond the physical. So 1 Peter 1.13 says, prepare your, now that's what is going on, prepare your mind for action. 1 Peter 1.13, prepare your minds for action. So that means what? Be completely sober. That means what? Steadfast. So, you know, point to point. You know, one, two, three, four. Growing. Self-disciplined. Spiritually and morally alert. Why? If you're not morally alert, what will happen? You will be subject to nonsense. Morally alert. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? You have to be morally alert. Spiritually alert. So that means, you know, every crow cannot come and land, uh, put its eggs on your hair. They will be flying out the air, no problem. But don't allow the, the crow or the pigeon, especially the dear big pigeons in this country. I, I don't know how to love them. I, I love the, the doves, I can't love the pigeon. I don't know why. And so, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the crow or the pigeon or anything, you know, can't come land. Don't let that level, you see. You don't know, the egg was laid. And so, huh. and so what he says in First Peter 1 Peter 1.13, so prepare your mind for action. So that means self-discipline, very alert and ready. Fix your hope completely on the grace of God. So we are hearing so many things now. Many homeworks are there for today, yeah, for this week. Many, many homeworks are given now. Every scripture is a book. And so fix your hope, hope for tomorrow. So fix your hope completely on the, so to follow all this and to go in this journey, what is this ascending? What is the realms open? Should I pray in that way? Should I change my prayer to this way? You know, if when you're wondering, he says, hope completely on the grace of God. So that means grace of God. So even your growth is grace of God. So he says, that is coming to you when Christ Jesus is revealed. So this scripture, I would have taught some years, years back, you know, when Jesus come back. When Jesus come back, you don't have to be using all this. When Jesus reveals himself to you, even today. Not in a human form, but in the revelation form. When Jesus is revealing himself to us in a, in a very meaningful way, in a beautiful way. So what we do, we completely depend on the grace of God to receive the revelation. And so, Instrument, another equipment is waiting. What is that? Speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues. Romans chapter 8, 26 to 29. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. So we are aspiring for many things, but we are not able to do it, even including me. We plan many things, but we fail, but we are not able to do, to connect with God and to grow, or, you know, continually. There is a problem, right? And so uh, uh, he says, in the same way, Spirit comes to us and helps us in our weakness. <clears throat> we do not know <coughs> that prayer to offer, which prayer to offer. So when we do not know what to pray, you know, he will pray. He will help you pray. He will pray. You will pray in the Spirit. You will pray in tongues. You will pray in the Spirit. You will pray in tongues. You will pray in the Spirit. And you will pray in tongues. Go home and think about it. You will pray in the spirit and you will pray in tongues. He who searches the heart 
knows what the mind of the spirit is because the spirit intercedes before god on behalf of god's people in accordance with god's will and we know that god causes all things to work together come on everybody read it together for good to those who love god to those who are called according to his plan and purpose are you call, called according to the plan and purpose surely otherwise you are not here you are called according to god's plan it is written in your scribe as a scroll that you need to learn all of it so write in your notebook speaking in tongues because speaking in tongues is a big powerful weapon but he so he says in this jude chapter 1 20 to 21 jude chapter 1 but you my delightfully loved friends constantly and progressively this is the point constantly and progressively build yourselves read it up on the foundation of your most holy faith so the faith has a decoration around it what holy faith so it's a holy faith so praying every moment in the so he said every moment so that means you can pray that means every moment when you are reading the bible your eyes are reading in english and your mouth is praying in tongues how that will be that's how most of the time i prepare my uh, 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 messages your mouth is speaking in tongues but your hand is writing you know reading your heart is reading uh, in english so uh, uh, how the next point important point catch hold of it speaking in tongues and then holy faith so then go to hebrews chapter 11 that was going to be my biggest teaching but then i am going to just stop it's about what without faith it is impossible to please god so amplified says without faith it's impossible to walk with god is it good without faith it is impossible to walk with god why what is faith <laughs> my jesus my god what is faith faith comes no faith um, faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses men of old had this kind of faith and gained divine approval so it is something to do with great stuff what is faith trust confidence in the power wisdom kingdom uh, king, uh, king, power wisdom and goodness of god and etc we'll go more in detail next week god willing so don't forget that we will be meeting thursday night for our uh, service the gathering will be thursday night that's going to be awesome so that means we are not limited by time hallelujah hallelujah shall we pray right now thank you holy spirit so what you are going to go home with what are you taking it taking home just go through what you learned just go through in your heart just arrange your life in order just choose a time choose a place you know preferably a morning speaking with god and through the day speaking with him through the day using every opportunity to speak in tongues open your mouth and start to speak i don't want any uh, mouth closed here because so much is given to you which area is your area right now come on speak speak to god tell him how you are going to depend on him how you are going to uh, chase after him how you are going to build your faith how you are going to believe on him how you are going to create stuff around you how your eyes are going to see the bright future how you are going to think about you uh, good all the time you know i'm favored you, you uh, like i'm beloved i'm favored how you are going to say this before god today you will confess before him i am a spirit being i entangle myself into him as a spirit i'm connected with him i engage in his presence 
and I, and i will i will manifest him down here i am the only entity who can carry the presence of god i am the voice of god in this world his voice is con connected with my voice i am a triune being spirit soul and body holy spirit is living in me god's hand picked me up i want to die to my junk i want to live in him move in him and have my being in him i am his voice come on speak in tongues for a moment speak in tongues loud and clear shalmela karat ke amanto korobat shaka seal it for your life it's going to be good it's going to be good you are going to go into the next realm enjoying god's facilities it's going to be good supernatural is going to be your natural shal kil me shakal ki ama your heart your mouth your eyes your physical body it's going to go beyond limitation i can do all things through christ jesus who strengthens me i can i will leap through leap over the wall shala ma kathale me kotola hallelujah 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 come on everyone store it fill your fuel tank right now mishkal me lakhil ke le me kal ke aman to ko rab hasha kal ke a the secret of god was living over my tabernacle to my tabernacle where god lives the secret of god should live me shoka thale me kar hashia i must be entwined into him connected to him i am not a normal christian i am a strong powerful son i do not belong to the created world i belong to the creator world me shali me katala supernatural is my natural come on everyone speak in tongues something supernatural something effective rab hasha katale me katale he never changes mila hala hata hale speak in tongues and seal it mir bahash katale me katar hajia ura bahashal ke makatal ke makatoro all things are possible my dreams my imagination will come to pass i will create a new supernatural world around me god world meer bal hath ke le come on everyone <coughs> hallelujah i am not for gifts i am not running for after gifts i am not running after miracles i am running after my god mishale male hata hata la come on everyone change me god change me god change me take me pick me like how you took ezekiel by the lock of his hair put me in the in the in the transport of a trans relocation take me away god come on pray somebody i should behave and manifest like you o oh god mera lahashi speak it dance ma pahasha kala it's nothing to do with the worldly victory o oh god i know it will follow me it is something to do with the christ kingdom rami kathahati kathalika i am more in about than the world's victory mari la la hati le hita hati healing is in me already my body can heal itself already 
my body will rise up and kill everything that is not of god shale ma kathale me kasha kathale le parang thal me sha kathale hai i am so born again i am very much born again i am fully born again raba bahar shal ki katha my attitude my behavior my character my habits my nature everything will show that i am a christ child shibar hi matu ko tel me la 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 raba bahar shal ki le me ke le makata la hazi in trust me god with greater more revelation in trust me god with more of more and more of your now revelation in trust me god come on ask him i will bear it <coughs> i will not doubt it shamala hatile love you jesus love you jesus come on come on love you jesus love you jesus love you yeshua we love you we love you we love you yahweh we love you yahweh may the love of our father the grace of our lord jesus christ and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forever more Amen. God bless you.